Hello, this is James from xrobots.co.uk. Today I'm going to tell you how to make a duct tape dummy, which you can see I've got my Iron Man armour on just here. Let's put a funny hat on Why make a duct tape dummy? Why make a duct tape dummy? Well, I'll tell you. You could use a retail mannequin, which was sort of standing just here, but his legs are too long for his body, his neck's too long, and he's too short overall, and also he costs £200. You could make a duct tape dummy for less than £50 if you do it right, and also it'll be exactly the same shape and size as you, which means any costume you fit on it will fit you, and any costume that fits you will fit on the mannequin. What will you need? What you will need? What will you need? Well, you're going to need some duct tape. I got this roll of duct tape from my local DIY store for 2 dollars It's a very tough fabric tape used for ducting. There was once a brand of duct tape called duct tape, but it's actually nothing to do with ducts, and that's quite confusing. Sometimes it's called gaffer tape or fabric tape. The basic idea is you're going to stick duct tape all over yourself, cut it off and stuff it to make the dummy. So you probably don't want to stick it straight to your skin or your clothing. So for that reason, you'll probably need something else to put over yourself first. And I'll use this, which is a, a great industrial cling film used for wrapping up pallets. You can buy it on eBay and it's called Pallet Wrap, or you could just use cling film from the kitchen. You'll also need an assistant. It's actually very hard to cover yourself in duct tape and cut it off by yourself. How will you do it? How will you do it? Well, I'll tell you how to do it. I've got some attractive pictures here of the progress. First of all, you can see me being covered in pallet wrap. Basically, we worked from the legs up and I had an assistant wrap it round and round and around me until I was completely covered. Here I am completely covered in pallet wrap. The next part, of course, was to cover me in duct tape. So we worked again from the bottom all the way up. We got through roughly one and a half rolls of duct tape until I was completely covered in duct tape. Here I am completely covered in duct tape. The next thing is to cut the duct tape off. We started at the back of the neck and cut down the back and then down the legs and then cut the arms off. The next part is to use a second skin to make the dummy by stuffing it. You probably want to put it on some sort of frame so it stands up and can hold the weight of the costume. I used a PVC pipe frame made of PVC pipe fittings from my local DIY store. I used 40mm pipe, some T-joints, some various other angle joints that you can buy off the shelf. These are for waste pipe, water for plumbing. I put the second skin back onto the mannequin and I stuffed it with bubble wrap. I started at the top by the shoulders and worked my way down the body, taping the seams up as I went. Here's a picture of the mannequin all taped up. For the head, I used a polystyrene head, but I had to put a slight extension into the neck because it was quite short. I basically measured the distance from my ears to my shoulders and from my chin to my chest to make sure the head was at the right height to match me. I made a wooden base to stand the mannequin on out of some MDF to make it stand up straight and make sure that it doesn't fall over. The PVC pipes are a bit flexible, so for a heavy suit like Iron Man, it's best to have a sturdy base. You can see I've got the mannequin standing on the base here. It's actually quite stable even though the suit is a little bit top heavy. It feels like it should be okay even when the rest of the suit's done. And that is how you make a duct tape dummy. See you next time. Bye!